Hey friends, it has been a hot minute since I have made a how-to writer video for YouTube and I was looking back at some of my older videos and saw how my series Bible video got quite a bit of views and as I was re-watching it I thought it seemed a little scarce and I have made um, more substantial series binders since then so I wanted to post this updated video on how I made a uh, book Bible slash uh, book binder series binder for my Whisper series, which currently consists of one book um, now published. And so, yeah, I am just going to show you now um, how I went about planning and plotting. So this is my glittery binder. And the first tab you can see is just the series overview. So I wrote up like what I imagined to be the blurbs of the books that I want in this series and um, just a general overview of the series. So then I have a separate tab for the official outlines that I used. And this was, um, I was using the save the cat structure. So three acts, 15 beats, and this was my final outline. As you'll see later, um, I had many, many other drafts of an outline before I reached the final, but I just wanted to save that kind of for posterity, um, but also future inspiration. Um, then I have my character profiles. So this was by far the most fun to put together. I used a stock photo website and because I am not um, selling or sharing, even sharing these photos online, this is just for my own personal use. Um, I printed these off and just made these um, little profiles of my characters in the book, including some mythological beings and basically everybody who I would like to appear in the series. Then I had my settings. So again, I just used some stock photos, things that I found online um, that reminded me of the setting. And this was really helpful in um, helping me picture the rooms as I was writing them. I also did a little bit of research because it's sort of a gas lamp a Victorian-ish themed fantasy. And so, you know, I gathered like, what are the names of all the rooms in the Victorian mansion? So I could make it more colorful. Um, what does like the downtown village look like? Um, what are some different types of trees that are growing in the forest behind her house? Just these sort of um, details that I can pepper throughout the story. What are, what was the etiquette back then? What would the finishing school that her sister have been like? Um, it takes place during Christmas time. So I also looked up popular Victorian era Christmas decorations and made a list. And so that was also fun to sprinkle in those details throughout the book. Um, fashion and dress. I printed these offline to understand, you know, how are my characters going to dress? How do they dress at home versus when they're going out? Um, how they would dress in different weather? Um, mostly focused on the ladies' fashion. There's an ice skating scene in the book, which is one of my favorite scenes in the book. And um, so I looked up, you know, what would they have worn to go ice skating in the Victorian era? Again, this wasn't a historical novel. It's just a fantasy. Um, but I really wanted it to feel authentic to that atmosphere. I also did a little bit of men's fashion. Cuisine was also a big one. Um, so I printed off this, like, how did they set a, like, fancy, posh Victorian dinner table? Again, these little details just really helped make the story more authentic. I printed off a page of, you know, what did people commonly cook and serve at a Christmas dinner um, or a Christmas feast? And again, these details just really helped me, having the visuals helped me describe them, um, even having some instructions on like how they were cooked and what were the ingredients that went into them. Um, And then I saved, so this just says early notes and early development. So I mentioned um, that it went through many other drafts and outlines and ideas. And I just like to save all that stuff for posterity. I just feel like, you know, I worked so hard on it and I rewrote the outline like eight times and I might as well just 
save my progress. Who knows if I'm ever rereading it someday, I might come up with a whole new idea for a different story. And then lastly, I had um, some note cards here that I had different scenes I wanted to write and then I would spread them, you know, over the floor or the bed and um, help, it would help me determine, I could move them around and it would help me determine um, what order to write certain scenes in. So that was just a little um, bit of detail on how I wrote my book Whisper, which I hope to eventually develop into a series. And hopefully this inspired you two to make your own book binder. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.